Shirts off, pants down. What is up, everyone? Kenny KO back with another video. As always, everything will be in the description down below. Do not forget to subscribe to The Best Family on YouTube. Today, I wanted to discuss body fat percentage and the big misconception surrounding body fat percentages. I see so many people at the gym that are claiming to be sub 10% body fat or 15% body fat, 5% body fat, 8% body fat, you know, whatever number they're claiming, holding out, you guys know what I'm talking about, the remote control driver car, thinking that that's gonna give them the most accurate representation of what their body fat actually is. So I'm gonna provide you guys with some examples of fitness personalities within the industry to give you comparisons of how body fat percentages can differ. And what I mean is, you know, someone can look a certain way, but they may not necessarily be the body fat percentage that you think they would actually be. So when you look at this picture here posted by Kino Body, you can see he's around 8% body fat. Now DEXA scan is going to be the most accurate way or one of the most accurate ways to determine your actual body fat percentage. It's going to be the most reliable and the most accurate. All of these athletes that I'm pulling these statistics from have done the DEXA scan so we know that it is a fair representation to that of their physique. So as I was saying Kino Body or Old Greg as I've called him before in previous videos, he is around 8% body fat. Now I want to make that noted. You know when you look at that physique you're like yeah, that's somewhere around 10% if I had to guess personally. But the one thing, the one genetic outlier that I'm making this whole purpose of this video for is you can't determine body fat percentage looking at physique because what most people think is a good or achievable or a shredded looking physique is they look at the midsection. If you're a person who holds the majority of your fat, you're the highest percentage in your midsection, you are gonna look like a way higher body percentage than you actually are. And then vice versa, people that store almost no fat in their midsection, say they store it in their lower back or their chest or their thighs, somewhere in their legs, they are gonna look like a lower body fat percentage than something they actually are. So that's one thing I wanna make note is a lot of people try and determine body fat percentages based off of just the midsection and that's the genetic outlier that I really want to make noted. Is you can have people at lower body fat percentages that don't look as in good shape or as good or chiseled or shredded condition as someone that's actually at a higher body fat percentage, in fact much higher. So that picture of old Greg or Greg O'Gallagher, however you say his name, at 8%, just take a look at that physique, and now jumping over to another well-known fitness personality in the industry who also did a DEXA scan was Mike Thurston, who is a great uh, fitness individual. He has his YouTube channel, big Instagram following. If you guys aren't subscribed to him, make sure to go ahead and do so. But he came in at around 15% body fat. Now when you look at these two physiques, to me, Mike Thurston looks like he's in far more incredible shape than that of Greg. And the difference is Greg has 8% body fat, in that picture and Mike Thurston has 15% and this is the main difference I want to talk about is Mike Thurston found out he holds majority of his fat in his legs which is what I was talking about he's genetically blessed to not hold very much fat in his midsection now the same could be said for Jamie this guy in my opinion I remember when he first published this DEXA scan video you know he built was building up the suspense making you guess what the number was actually going to be and I thought his body fat percentage was actually going to be somewhere around 5% body fat he had vascularity everywhere there was roadmap veins going up his abs he had like I said vascularity all over his entire body you could see every single muscle fiber striation um, that you know you're looking at basically an anatomy chart in person so I thought it was gonna be around you know 5% even lower and he came in at 10% which is still higher than Greg higher than Rob Lipset and higher than all of these other athletes you know that have a lower body fat percentages and that's the main difference that I was discussing in the beginning is the genetic outlier and that is the whole purpose to this video is you cannot really justify what someone is body fat percentage wise unless you know where they're going to store their fat so jamie and mike obviously both hold literally almost zero to no fat in their midsection they are genetically blessed i'm extremely jealous because personally i know i hold a lot of my fat in my midsection and it's extremely hard to lose you know everywhere else stays pretty consistent year round many of you you know make sure to leave in the comments down below where you tend to store most of your fat and where your most stubborn fat areas are i know for most males it is in the lower abdominals and in the lower back region if you are lucky enough like mike and jamie to hold most of your fat in your legs then consider yourself blessed make sure to count your blessings 
and thank your parents and your ancestors for the amazing genetics you have. But I just want to show the contrast because when you see these pictures of uh, people you think would be at a lower body fat percentage and more shredded and just overall look better, um, maybe not necessarily better, that's more <laughs> opinion based, but in better condition is why I want to say, you know, more muscle fibers, more vascularity, what appears to be a lower body fat percentage and it all comes down to like I said people try and judge body fat percentages just based off of the midsection and how chiseled and diced your midsection or your abdominals actually are. So I want to put this to rest you know I, I see people in the gym claiming yes so I'm 8% I'm body fat, I'm 10% body fat, I'm this percent body fat and, and really they have no idea and if you guys really want to know what your true body fat percentage is whether you're in contest shape or in the prime of your bulk, make sure to go get a DEXA scan. It's gonna be the most accurate way. It is gonna be a little bit more costly, but if you want you know, to pinpoint exactly where you even store most of your fat, that is the way to do it, and I highly recommend it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Also guys, don't forget to turn on post notifications, the little bell next to the subscribe button so you guys don't miss a single upload. As always, make sure to stay shredded, stay aesthetic. Sign up.